You could fucking die. I know you need to find your friends, but if you go there, you're probably gonna be screwed. You're probably gonna be alone. I don't think that's the right. I don't. I don't. Bleh, I can't talk. I don't think that's the right call. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe, but I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Glenn. You know, I don't know what's more disturbing, the fact that this game has a character named Glenn, or this is based in Georgia where my friend Glenn lives. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Hey kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Indeed. Yeah, we do. Earlier, I uh, mentioned you gotta ask yourself what you're gonna do if Clementine's parents don't show. Yeah, you did. You think that's gonna happen? Her parents showing up? No, I don't. Well, I want you to know that I think you've got it in you. I think you can take care of that little girl just fine. Thanks, man. Thanks, Kenny. You got it's it. The bomb. You the bomb, Kenny. I'm keeping you around. I like you. How's, um... Um... Oh. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Carly, how are you? How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure he liked you, too. Well, I'm sure he liked you, too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Yeah, me too. Me too, Carly. Carly, you're a great shot. You know more about me. Maybe you can, I don't know, support me in all this a little bit better than Doug could. I mean, Clementine, how are you? Fuck I you! Like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast! But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then? Hey, Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie talkie broke. Aww. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Oh. Lee, come here for a second. Oh, fuck you. <sighs> Let me go deal with this. I hate oh, man. that Clementine. guy. What do you want? You like my daughter? <laughs> Her dad tried to kill me, so. Her dad tried to kill me, so. Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? You threatening me, dude? You threatening me? I know who you are. 
And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch he just your lagged ass. for a second. Fuck you. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? <sighs> my dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. We? As in who? You and your father or everybody? I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Why did I get the feeling that was going to happen? I just had the feeling. Of course. To be continued, guys. <sighs> well, next time on The Walking Dead, everything's not going to be okay. I guarantee that. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Oh, Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Fuck this! Now we're gonna take what we want! Wait, who are you? There's too many of them! Oh! Well, whoever you are, you're not gonna die. My dad. Even back at the drugstore, when everyone thought Teddy's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. <laughs> oh, man. No more, please! No more, please! 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 <laughs> Jesus. Intense shit right there. <sighs> oh, let's see. Oh, I lied to Herschel, I guess. Um, 49 chose Duck. 48 defended Kenny. 45 gave her the gun. And, oh, sweet. 76 chose Carly, so I guess I'm not the only one that thought Carly was the better candidate. But, wow. Intense shit. I like this so far. I can't wait. Um. Okay, so at the end of every episode, I'm going to give you guys my little rundown of how I feel about the game and everybody in it. First of all, I think Kenny's going to be a really good guy. Like, that's just how I feel about it, because he's siding with me, he's defending me and standing up for me, and he helped save my life, so I owe him, you know? Um, frickin' <laughs> Carly, I hope I saved her for the right reason. I really do, and I hope I saved Duck for the right reason. As for the girl and her father, I already forget their names, but, uh, like, the girl is okay, but I fucking hate her dad. Like, seriously. He is such a dick. He hates me just because he knows what I did, and he just assumes that's how I'm gonna do it. I mean, yeah, you know, I'm a convict. I get that. It's scary, but this is a zombie apocalypse. The last thing that you should be worried about is me killing everybody in a fucking zombie apocalypse. I mean, I'll kill the zombies, but yeah. Ah, uh, and Clementine is the most adorable little girl I've ever had to deal with in a video game. I'll say that flat out. She is so cute. So mad, 
mad props to her actor and just whoever created her. Like, she's just so freaking adorable. But, um, definitely looking forward to playing episode two. I hope you guys have enjoyed everything so far. And yes, expect me to keep going. Definitely. Definitely. So until episode two, I shall see you guys. Bye-bye.